Hi, Doug Gold of Worship MD, here with you to talk about more tips on how to improve your church audio. Uh, you might have seen the video that we did on phase. Today I'm going to talk about the polarity switch and how that might help alleviate some of those problems. Might or might not, I should specify. Uh, that knob looks like this on your mixer. It's a little circle with a line through it. It doesn't mean no smoking. It means it's a polarity reverse or a phase reverse, if you will. And what we use that for is typically when we have opposing microphones. Let's say you have a microphone on the top of the snare drum and one on the bottom, and they're facing each other. We use the bottom snare mic mainly for the high frequencies, and we use this one for attack and tone. But this one's seeing a positive crest of the waveform. This one's seeing a negative, so they're actually working against each other. I want you to listen to the two mics in conjunction with each other, and on the bottom mic, flip that polarity switch in and out. See what sounds better. Maybe it sounds all right with it out. If that's the case, use your ears. Let that be the final judge. If it sounds thin, you might want to push it in and see if that makes the two microphones work in conjunction with each other better. The other reason we use a polarity switch is sometimes cables are just miswired. Uh, the pin that's supposed to be hot is now negative. And by sometimes hitting that polarity switch, it corrects the, uh, the cable. All right, next time. 